When Kurt Leichter was a young boy growing up in Vienna, he led a happy life. His mother was a Protestant and retired opera singer, and his father was a Jewish journalist. Kurt remembers the day when he actually saw Hitler and his army marching on the streets in Vienna, taking over Austria. Because Kurt's father was Jewish, he and Kurt were considered undesirable. They, they confiscated our home, they took our automobile, they took everything we owned, and they put my dad in jail for about two weeks, and we were, we were given an edict that we need to leave the country within the next two weeks or else wind up in a concentration camp. And fortunately, these relatives in New York were kind enough to uh, take the responsibility for us to come to, uh, come to, to the United States. And as we were preparing to come over, my dad, my mother had passed away the year before, and my dad found out that because he was born in Hungary, his quota in the United States was not open, and my quota, having been born in Vienna, was open. So we were faced with a situation that I could come to the United States, but he could not. He was allowed one suitcase and $75. His father kissed him goodbye, and he set sail for his new home in America. Kurt stayed with the family for a while, but it was crowded, so they sent him to Oklahoma to learn a trade at a youth work camp. When they put me on the bus in New York City and kissed me goodbye, the next time I got off, the, the last bus I got off, I was in Shawnee, Oklahoma. And that's where the, national, where the camp was, right there by o o Oklahoma Baptist University. They had a school, it was sort of a, like an army camp. You had barracks and uh, it was very, very difficult because my English was still pretty poor. And those kids that were in that camp learning a trade from these families from Oklahoma, mostly Oklahoma, and surrounding territories, uh, were, were, could never have seen a kid that was taller, too tall for his age and couldn't speak the language. And that, uh, they, they, they made a lot of fun of me and really, really gave me a hard time because I, I didn't fit in into the program. He learned English, time passed, and a Jewish organization, Hadassah, heard about Kurt and got him a job in the jewelry business. He worked his way up and soon he and his bride, Sydney, were getting their own store on the ninth floor of the First National Building. In order to start in this little office with the $5,000 borrowed from the bank, I was quite limited. I arranged to buy a couple of youth showcases. I bought a little safe. I bought a little sign that had a face of a clock on front of it that when I went to the restroom, I went to lunch, I says, we'll be back in a few minutes, <laughs> in a half an hour, and locked the door and because of just a one person operation. By advertising in the Daily Oklahoman Classifieds and later on TV, Treasures Incorporated thrived and grew. A widower, Kurt married his second wife, Kathy. The Leichters are active members of Oklahoma City Church of the Servant, supporters of the arts for Oklahoma City University, and enthusiastic supporters of Habitat for Humanity, building homes for people who otherwise would never own their own home. Kurt has received numerous awards, but treasures the recognition received for his photography. He was the first amateur to have a show at the Photography Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City and has shown his work in Vienna for living refugees of the Holocaust. Here is a refugee leaving a country by himself at 14 years of age and going into a whole new world. And along the way, I have been so blessed by meeting good people that have been kind and helpful all along the way. And I would probably be right in telling you that I think I'll probably am the only grad, grade school student with no other education that ever has gotten a doctorate in a, in a, in a university, which I was blessed to get Oklahoma City University off, uh, gave, offered me a doctorate. For his tenacity of spirit and never give up attitude, his eye for beauty, his thoughtful generosity, his love of family and community. The Oklahoma City University Minder School of Business is proud to give Kurt Leichter the American Dream Award.